hello guys welcome back again to another new video so in today's video i'd like to talk about to you what happens when you call an ambulance here in germany because there's some people who are always sick sometimes i've read somewhere a kid was sick and the parent did not take the kid to the kranken house and let and she was because she was waiting for like work tag no more no more weekday to take the kid to the kinder arts so let me tell you what happens when you call an ambulance because that kid ended up dying because the kid had a problem with the stomach we don't have we have we must avoid such things so stay tuned and enjoy this video so guys let's say for example you're not feeling okay you are at home alone you have nobody to assist you and it's on a weekend or even it's past 7 p.m even in the evening and uh, there's no kinder arts, there's no house arts. What do you do? Do you sit around waiting for the doctor to come or buy on the on Monday or on the working hours? Or what do you do? So, in this video, you should always mind your Gesundheit because your healthiness comes first, you know? Your health comes first, let me put it that way. So, whenever you're sick, whenever your child is sick, and it's not it's on a public holiday it's past 7 p.m it's past it's on the weekend i don't know what time this is what you have to do in this video kindly kindly stay tuned because this video is gonna help someone who has come to germany and doesn't know what they need to do about it First of all, if it's working days and your doctor is opened, you can call the doctor and the doctor is going to tell you to come at this certain time. If the doctor says, no, I cannot take you this time, wait until 7 p.m. After 7 p.m. in the evening, you can always call 116 one one seven, like 116 one one seven. This number is for Bereisha Fats. There are some arts on the from this time of the evening till the morning. They are on shift, but they don't work in the hospital. But they work outside, like from home to home. If if there's an emergency somewhere, they're being called. After you call this number, one one six one one seven, is gonna ask you for your address, like the post light cell, a uh, pure box number is like that in English. Then when you give the place where you live, and then they're gonna direct you straight to the centrum. And then you go that's why they're gonna tell you wait for some minutes the doctor is gonna be there and this beret chef arts is for something which is not that critical critical i means for example you have pain on your breast you have to call ambulance that's and that's why we're gonna go back to our topic i just want to tell you if you have maybe let's say pain somewhere you have a toothache you have a, a serious headache then you can call this beret chef arts. but when it is something critical you have something in your lungs you have something in your in your breast like a pressure or anything or the pain is paining you terribly non-stop you have to call now ambulance for the ambulance always remember to call 112 if you want to call police it's 110 and for example if you call 911 it's going to direct you to 112. That's how they made it. Because in some countries, they use 911. So in Germany, if you, for example, forgot it's 112, you just dial 911 and it's going to direct you to 112, whereby you can reach the ambulance. So what happens after you call the 112? They're going to get someone and tell them the situation is very critical. You're experiencing, for example, a pressure on your breast. So they're going to ask you your name. They're going to ask you where you are. They're going to ask you when did you start having that symptom? Or would you, if somebody's there with you or all those things. So after calling that uh, ambulance number 112 and speaking with them, they're going to tell you the paramedics are on their way. So for how long will you wait for them? And this is where another thing comes. If it's something, like I said, is very crucial, it's very critical. When, for example, the noise and heart attack, they can be here within the next three minutes. That's how fast they are. Two to three minutes, you hear, tree, tree, tree. they'll be there with that. Like, let me say in the next, it depends on how critical a situation is. This is like something from the heart, lungs, or all those things. They're going to be there within the next two to three minutes. I don't know how fast they drive, but they're going to be there 
as soon as possible and um yeah but if something like i said is not critical then that's it's gonna take a little bit of time but maybe let's say maximum within the next 10 minutes they need to be there with you uh, coming to your place and also remember to have an insurance card it's very important so after they have arrived the note adds now the doctor is gonna go in charge and take care of everything he's gonna look at you and uh, tell uh, those sanitators, those paramedics do some tests also. So it'd be the one uh, doing like, for example, putting some IV, putting the IV on new injection so that you can put the medicine through the IV, like the intravenous. So, and after that, they're gonna see if you're still having the same, same problem, pain or all those things. If you still have the same, same problem, they're gonna tell you that they're gonna take you to the hospital. And the, the most important thing when the doctor comes, they always have to ask you for the insurance card. You make sure you have an insurance card because if you don't have an insurance card, it's going to be very expensive for you. Very, very expensive. And uh, yeah, I don't even if they're going to treat you if they don't have insurance card. So, but make sure you have your insurance card and then things will be easy. Always make sure after you have called the ambulance, make sure the bag is packed, the one you're going to go with in the hospital. You don't wait for the doctor to be there, then you start packing things. Take your toothbrush, your soap, your slippers, your uh, towel you're going to get in the hospital, but I, I prefer taking my own towel. And um, all those things which are necessary, you know. There's some pads also in the hospital. You don't need to take some pads if you're a woman. But if you're planning for the hospital, make sure if you're planning for if you're calling an emergency, make sure your bag for the hospital is also ready. So when they tell you they're going to be taking you to the hospital, you're just gonna be carrying your card. This is very, very important because you don't have to start packing things. Oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. And maybe for example, you're living alone. If you're living with someone, it's much better. But if you're living alone, it's going to be stressful for you. You're going to be in the hospital, don't even know where your wallet is it's at home. So like I said, I called an ambulance in 2018 because I was, feel, I was not feeling okay. The doctor gave me some antibiotics and I didn't know I had an allergy against these antibiotics, like towards these antibiotics. So I took that antibiotics, I started vomiting, I started vomiting non-stop. And then I thought maybe, ah, maybe I, just something which is... Okay, I took another antibiotic, so then I realized something is wrong with these antibiotics. I was now vomiting non-stop, diarrhea and vomiting, diarrhea and vomiting, until I had to call the emergency. So they came, explained to them what is happening, and then they told me I should never take that antibiotic, but they had to take me to the hospital to know what is disturbing me. So after they took me to the hospital, and they were so nice when they're there inside with you they're gonna be talking to you so to make sure you're doing that you're okay and then how much did i pay for this ambulance so so after my treatment after i came back home let's say like two months later i received a letter which costed only 10 euro i was in the hospital for i think two days yeah but i paid for only i think two days if i'm not wrong but that rationing said I should pay 10 euro for the transport. So when I was in the hospital, it, is, it was free of charge. But um, them now taking me to the hospital, um, they, I had to pay 10 euro. I think the other money that my insurance is paying. Because that's why it's always good to work in Germany. Because every month, the money you're working, they deduct there your your health uh your health for health insurance they deduct them so that's that's the point where by the health insurance pays for caters for all those things so i only paid for 10 i only paid 10 euro can you imagine 10 euro for ambulance after your treatment at the hospital you're not supposed to be discharged you're not supposed to call ambulance because you can also even, even tell a friend to come and pick you or you can order a taxi to come and take you home because when you know, we all know when you're being discharged, you're now good. You can take the, even the train and go back home. So I took the train and I had, no, I took taxi if I'm not wrong. And I had to pay for that taxi and that's now up to you. Nobody's going to refine you that money. So that's how it is when you want to order uh, ambulance in Germany. Even if it's, if you have a pain which is not going away, kindly don't say, let me wait for 
adds to the doctor to open the praxis and maybe let's say in, in one hour in two days or in one day don't delay no matter even if it's for your child if your child is sick if the fever is too high just take the kid to the hospital if you feel the kid's situation is not that critical abnointing or you can always call beraisha first if not abnointing or like from nine from 7 p.m you go to any clinic they're gonna take you and help you they're gonna i don't care how much they're gonna complain that they are unter besets or that's not my problem even me i work in the health beraisha and uh, when I work there, I expect to, uh, to help people the way I'm best. So I'm there to help people. And even when you go to the hospital, they're going to complain, oh, blah, 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 this is something serious, but you better go. Abnoense Nua, every day you can go to the hospital for e to the ER. They will never send you away. But if you go during the day and the doctor is open, they're going to send you away. So always make sure Abnoense Nua, you go to the mass emergency room. And they're gonna help you but don't go during the day when you, your doctor is opened they're gonna send you away like i said for emergency for emergency to order emergency car always call 112 you need an emergency crank and van they're gonna ask you what is wrong you tell them they're gonna come they take you to the hospital at the end you're gonna be paying 10 euro so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and to share and see you in the next video don't forget to like this video guys i love you all bye bye